Deanna, give it to me. <laughs> this question is from O Misty on YouTube. How do we find our purpose in life slash God's will for every one of us? Okay. All right. And uh, before I dive deep into that one, I do want to say today is a day to celebrate as I am going to be actually sending out part one of my upcoming book, Breaking Normal, to the book club. And if you're interested in that, I still got space. We have almost about 50 epic individuals right now, including the camera woman and JP. And um, just email me at daniel at breakingnormal.tv if you want to dive deep into this with the microscope and telescope turned inwards to find out that this wisdom in here is way beyond just me or you. And uh, to answer your question, all right, Deanna was coaching me along with answering these questions yesterday to really make sure that I'm giving you specifically, O oh Misty, some valuable perspective. And let me, uh, let me tap into that space. There's a, a note to it. She says, I have so many passions and it's being really hard to focus on bringing all of these passions together in one path. Hmm. Well, that's a, first of all, that's a quality, what some people problem, would call problem to have. I call it, some people call it a challenge. I would even go farther. That's some quality opportunities that you have there that you're so passionate about, so many different things. You don't know where <laughs> to direct your attention. And um, let's start first, let's pretending someone doesn't have so many passions. They don't even know what they're passionate about. What I would look at is what comes extremely like easy to you that you didn't really have to train for or put much effort into or much practice that other people are really trying to figure out. And it's almost a bit like, wow, why are they struggling so much to do that? Isn't that much easier than it looks? Or isn't that much easier than they're making that? If you catch yourself watching others struggle in a certain aspect of life that comes very easy to you, that's a good sign that that might be something for you to consider a bit deeper. And um, especially when you can find the combination of what comes easiest to you and what sparks the most joy in you, and then I think we're starting to step on the ground of uh, fertile passions. And you don't have to have just one passion. Uh, the truth of the matter is, just like the leaves that are falling from this tree and the grass that's growing from the ground and the bugs that are growing from baby insects to their transition and to the ground, uh, life is changing and so are you. We're in a continuous state of change and I trust expansion and evolution. And I think you being able to be aware that your passions have changed is just showing that your uh, awareness is quite high, which I believe is the volume button to our consciousness. So congratulations. Um, now in order to decide which one you want to pursue, I think it might take a time to get quiet, get still, get out in nature, really feel into what brings the most joy to you. Really feel what, where you have the most energy, where you're vibrating at the highest frequency. And also that combination of like, that's pretty natural for you to do. And I think that's a good start. And I would decide to go for one thing, decide to go for that one thing, one at a time. This is an idea, you don't have to follow it. But decide what it is. When, that, when you tap into that, what it is, just make a decision, make a deadline, and where you're gonna take action on that. Let's say, for instance, I have a gift of facilitating conscious communication. So if I'm gonna decide, and I'm talking to myself here, hopefully this reflection will uh, give you some good perspective for yourself as well. I can make that decision. All right, Daniel, I'm a great orchestrator of conscious communication. What's the deadline? Okay, I'm gonna give myself a deadline by my, birth, my next birthday, June 1st, that I'm gonna facilitate five, five hour workshops where I orchestrate conscious communication. And then finally, the third D would be to declare where I could use aid from others. If all of a sudden I'm like, well, I don't want to, or I'm really good at the orchestrating of the event, but I don't want to like pick out a venue and I don't want to print out waivers. And then I have to declare where I, I desire help from others. So I think those three D's will put you in the place of finding which passion to pursue next. Um, the three D's to maybe let go of would be distraction, doubt, and delay. If you find yourself slipping into one of those 3D vibrations, then maybe to realize, that, oh, it's time to let go and let God. And maybe this is a bit of a shadow where I've gotten in the way of the Creator's light that wants to go through me, and I've kind of been blocking that light with delay, distraction, or doubt. Um, not that those, there's anything wrong with those, but they are nice check engine lights for 
this human mobile that we get to navigate this paradise on earth with and when that check engine light comes on it might be time to kind of like tweak the focus go more from the doubt to the decision go more from the delay the delay to the deadline or lifeline as you call it or go from more of the distraction to like where can I declare that I'm gonna I desire help on this I'll even pay for someone it's amazing what people will do for money and that's just a funny side note you can really there's a lots of people that are willing to help you a for either money or B to be part of the project that you're pursuing and C just to be around people that are pursuing their passion and getting paid to do it so um, I trust that gives you a good start and um, if it doesn't that's okay too and I get to sit with that idea that maybe I didn't answer this question the best I could um, but I believe I did because I made a decision to do it and I will admit this was my second take I allowed ironically or paradoxically what's the difference so I let myself get a bit distracted of what was going on around me and I was like oh let's do it again I rationalized that the audio might have not been good but in reality I slipped into the D's that a lot of people are stuck in the state of paralysis analysis where they just don't know what to choose and I in my opinion life if I was going to describe it as a in one other word what could I what's one word that basically describes life I would say choice and um, whether this is like your coach giving you a kick in the butt or your dad giving you a pat on the back or just me saying go for it it's to choose make a choice give yourself a deadline let go of the distraction and the delay and the doubt declare where you need or desire help and uh, yeah go for it and I would I'm gonna be really excited to see what happens when you pursue your passion because then all of a sudden you'll get more clear of what it is you're actually passionate about and then you might even unlock the keys to other pat like you might have the keys to unlock other passions that are even deeper than what you're experiencing right now you just gotta go 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 um, you know knowledge are ideas wisdom is knowledge to use so put your knowledge and your ideas and all these passions that you have start putting them to use choose one and go for it if you got something out of this question and answer give me a like give me a comment and if you want a question answered Ask me one on either my YouTube or Facebook page, Daniel Eisen and the Freedom Catalyst. Thank you for being here. And I really do value your input. And if you had something that you want more clarity on, ask that as well. See you soon. Peace.